this video, we are going to be making and talking about, it's called the bone handle or dog bone handle. This is um, a very, very nice, beautiful handle. And I'm going to talk about some different sizes of clay um, for making different ones. Now, these are something that take practice, okay? I will admit I am not well practiced in these, but you know, um, it's something that is definitely worth working on. So first of all, what you need to figure out is the size of ball clay you need to make the size of lug you need to make the size of handle, all right? So when I first started, a lot of the videos were making these really tiny ones, you know, a small little ball of clay. You can see like for scale in my hand and I was making these little itty bitty nugs, little lugs and these were the handles I was capable of making. You know, it's great for like a little, a trigger handle, like a little one finger on a small cup. This would be great. It's not a bad handle, it's just small, okay? Um, I, however, have this big old cup <laughs> that I need to make, put a handle on. So I realized I need to scale up my, my handle. So um, the best way to do this is to make a bunch at a time. So maybe you make, you make like four handles and then choose your best one. So first thing you gotta do is make a ball, then you're gonna roll it into a coil. So you like these guys, so make a ball, roll a coil. It's about, I don't know, two and a half inches long or so. You can kind of see these ones I made. Okay, and then you're gonna pick your favorite. Um, I make sure they don't have a big hole in the end. You might pinch that in, okay. This one's pretty good. And see how it's like a flat coil? Like I kind of rolled it and it got flat and I kind of was okay with that. And then what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna pinch and, and extend this and stretch it. And so I'm gonna be making the diamond pattern position with my fingers like this. Start from the middle of the little lug and pinch your way up. One idea approach I would do is maybe you pinch, I don't know, like four or five handles at each stage. Like, okay, maybe I might set that one aside and then grab another one. And this diamond pattern pinch puts like kind of actually a very nice like raised ridge on the inside and on the outside of the handle. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to pinch this from being, like you could keep it consistent in the same thickness throughout, but I'm actually gonna do a slightly narrower pinched um, section in the middle. So I'm gonna come back to the middle and I'm gonna pinch a little more in here. And what's nice about this pinching technique is it's compressing the handle as you are making it. And compression is key to successful ceramics because clay are those little hexagonal platelets like the deck of cards. And the best way to make it strong is to compress them together, like a thick, like a stack, thick stack. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a little more pinching in the middle here. Make it a little narrower in the center. Okay, it's kind of subtle. Here's another step. Take your ha handle and press the ends. So it's a little, has like a thicker thing on either end. Okay, that's an important step right there. Press. 
So that's the first setup, right? Um, now what we're gonna do is get your bucket of water, get your hand wet, and you're gonna pull this handle. And so I'm using the same kind of like circle method, my hand. Um, Pull it all the way around, make sure you got a lot of moisture there to get a lot of stretch. And use your fingers. Kind of using the <laughs> crotch of my fin fingers right there to smooth over these edges. You can even use your finger to bring back the ridge. All right, now we can form it into an arch and use these little, almost like uh, elephant feet to hold its shape. So let's do a second one here. Now, what we wanna do is let these dry. And so see how these are wet and they're shiny? Whereas these guys over here are not shiny. They are dry. They've been hanging around for probably an hour or so. One thing I like to do is take a look at the handle. I'm gonna keep these kind of suction cup shapes but I'm just kind of, I sort of pulled these edge, these um, arches so that they kind of point more inward because of the shape of the cup being curved. You know, if the cup has a flatter side to it, then something that's more flat could work on there. Um, I don't know, take care of that some more later, but. For now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of work this edge to make it more like a suction cup because it's gotta go on this round spherical cup. New tool, ye old toothbrush. Um, take this guy and you can use it to slip and score. And mine still smells minty fresh. So I'm using this little serrated metal rim to score. And I'm just going to kind of have it just kiss the spot I want it to go. And it kind of left a little mark. And I'm going to use that as my reference. I guess you could trace it too, to where I'm going to score. So what's nice about the toothbrush, gets the water on there, kind of helps get the score and the slipping going. Okay, hopefully I don't, don't screw this up. There's snorkies. I've turned it over upside down a million times, so now I can't remember which is the top and which is the bottom. Let's see, did I? I think I got it right now. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Get my towel handy here. I can rest it on something soft. Make sure we're straight ish. <laughs> Okay. And then I'm going to kind of work the edges with my thumb. Kind of. Okay. 
I like that kind of suction cup ends to them as like a nice connector. Even reach inside and kind of push. And then I'm gonna smoothie with my new tool, a little toothbrush. This is actually a really awesome tip is to use your little toothbrush, old toothbrush for smoothing, especially in those nooks and those crannies. You know, we're pretty happy with this. Pretty happy. Maybe I might want this to come up a little higher off the, like this. I want to have that nice kind of arch, a little heart. It was a little too far out from my liking. So what I did there was I kind of lifted the bottom up a bit and push it over here a little bit. And then I'm gonna re-smooth and con convince <laughs> was the word I was thinking. This handle, this is how it wants to live. That'll be a comfortable little handle. See how you can cat lick and futz with this thing? For hours and hours, you can do a little sponge action and hide any of those little toothbrush marks you might have left. And there she goes. Look at her go. She's beautiful. Okay, there she goes.